TLO, what's pop? We are on kick. We are not live. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. This is the second channel. Oh, no, that's not. I'm tweaking. <laughs> this, this above me is the channel you can go to if you miss a live. If you miss uh, anything that important that goes on. You can check it out on this channel. Don't forget, we also got the Patreon. We post five days a week. Uh, That's where we watch stuff we can't watch on YouTube. And this is, this, you know, merch, you know. Check it out, man. The description is where you can find any of the stuff I just mentioned. There's a link down there. It's called Linktree. Click it. Everything will be there. Now, this is Scar City. You know, he be coming with the local, you know, you know, the local, the local nonsense. This is daytime Essex shopping mall shooting and police chase. All in one. Hold on, let's get some clarity. Let me make sure we... Are we clear? Yeah. Go, 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 go! Oh, police! Stop! Stay there! Stop! Stay there! I won't shoot! Stay there! Get on the floor, man! Get on the floor! I really appreciate you joining me today, and this story comes from great. Dang! He's in Essex, and involves two men that have been jailed for opening fire in broad daylight outside the shopping centre, and also a police chase and drug possession. The two men are from London, and the police from the Serious Organised Crime Directorate gathered enough evidence in order to convict Rio Divine Brown and Forrest Bentick of the incident that occurred on Tuesday the 13th of September 2022. Some of y'all looking like, why Rio had that plastic bag on the bag? It's to catch the shells. That's, that's tough. The pair were jailed at Basildon Crown Court on Monday. See the plastic bag? It's to catch the shells. So he knew what he was doing. They came prepared. Monday the 21st of August. On the 13th of September last year, three men drove to the Lakeside Shopping Centre and two of them went inside the store and moments later a Nissan Duke arrived and the car was contained, Rio Divine and Faris Bentic. Both of them got out and the three men that had originally came to the shopping mall returned to their car and crossed paths with Divine and Bentic. Moments later, Rio Divine pulled out a firearm that was covered in green fabric and he pointed it towards the victims before firing. Witnesses reported hearing <coughs> gunshots and seeing smoke coming from the firearm. Thankfully, both of the males aged in their 20s were not injured and they got back to their car and drove away. A complex and detailed investigation was launched by the police and the serious organised crime units and as a result they was able to identify the two suspects very soon. Rio Divine was arrested three days later but Faris Bentic was arrested on the 9th of October after he was involved in a police chase in Waltham Abbey. He decamped from an Audi A1 while he was carrying... This dude should have turned himself in. ...in a firearm and also... Oh no, he, he was... You know what's crazy? He probably got more time than Rio. Forrest. Also arrested at the scene was Chantal Fowler, who was in the car at the time and believed to be the partner of Forrest. They later raided their address in Ilford on the 10th of October 2022, and police found the car that was used in the shooting at this address, and also false registration plates, and the keys to the vehicle were earlier found in Bentick's possession when he was in the police station. Police found cocaine, MDMA and 4 kilos of cannabis inside the property alongside £15,000 in the wardrobe, mobile phones and imitation fire. 15000 yeah, they was really out here. Speed 7-0, wrong way. We get a chase, the whole chase. Way uh, through centre bollards. Sunday night, I told the car was which for been minute was travelling and pursued by the officers of Wilhelm Abbey. Your vehicle continues, uh, A104, Epping New Roads, uh, approximately 50 metres, wrong way round the roundabout, wrong way round the roundabout. Just entering the village now. It's a lot of chase chances. The offside up to a T-junction, currently bolted on the pavement, on the pavement. Let's turn right, right into Ho Lane. Uh, currently... Who's Lane? Yeah, Lambourne Road, Chigwell Road, stand by. 
uh, contact uh, with a member of the public. It's gone left, left, Lambourne Road uh, towards Grange Hill. Yeah, it's turned into Brockett Way. Brockett Way. Uh, be prepared for a red decamp. Vehicles parking up. Yeah, it's a decamp. Male's going to, looks like the male, um, yeah, he's got a bag in his hand. He's walking on the street. He's got uh, grey clothing, grey tracksuit with a night tick on the front. Chantel got out the back kind of thick. Salute. Uh, ben took decamp from the car and was chased on foot by an arm. Make it off. Go, 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 go. Oh, stop stop that. Oh, stop. Stop that. Mm, yeah, buddy, it's over. It's, you're done. I will shoot. Stay there. He'd rather not shoot, but he will. Get on the floor, Get, get, on, the get on the floor. Get on the floor. Fantastic. You can get on the floor now. Yeah, officer's got him on the ground currently. Rio Divine, 24 years old, admitted possession of an imitation firearm and two counts of drug dealing, and he was jailed for three years. However, Faris Bentick, 24 years old, denied having any possession of an imitation firearm or the possession of the prohibited firearm and alongside ammunition and various drug dealing offences. He much? did, however, admit to having a knife. Chantal Fowler from Waltham Forest, London, denied dangerous driving and using criminal property. Yeah, she got out the back seat. She got away. She ain't getting nothing. Following a three-week trial, the jury found Forrest Bentick guilty and Chantal guilty. Oh, she got... ...of all charges. Alongside Bentick and Divine, Yildaz was jailed for 60 months. Chantal was jailed for 24, but this... Two years. ...was suspended for two oh, years. Oh, okay. The detective in charge of the case said that Rio and Forrest acted in a very dangerous way. I ain't gonna lie, Chantel stayed down. She a real one. She real stupid, but she a real one at the end of the day. And he put members of the public at risk. They opened fire in a public place outside a shopping centre. And anybody could have been seriously injured. And they did not get a lot of time for this. Three years? Or killed. So I really want to hear what people have to say on this story. And please don't forget to follow and subscribe. If you That's crazy, man. Stay safe out there, man. Because, you know, people people don't care about y'all's safety. It's, it's becoming real apparent, man. Like, these people that are involved in these little beefs or these little disputes, you know what I'm saying? They don't, they, they realistically, they don't care who's around them. And uh, realistically, they don't care if they're on camera or not. No face masks, no nothing, no no nothing. You just out here shooting in, in, at a mall. And look how big this mall is. This is this a money mall. They see it. They're telling on you, buddy. It's tough, man. TLO, leave a like, comment. I'm gone.